Hi everyone, it's Julie from SproutsAndStems.com here. Today's video is May Planty Updates. So really quick before we get into that, please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any new Planty content from me. And check out the links to my YouTube membership slash Patreon in the description. You get exclusive content and priority response to comments and messages and a few other perks, so check those out. The most recent exclusive video that I posted was an extra three tips for Monstera adansonii. In my last YouTube video, I posted five tips for growing a beautiful, bushy, full Swiss cheese plant, and you guys really seem to like that. So for my exclusive video, I gave you an extra three tips. So check that out if you're interested. And now we will get into May planty updates. My first update is this philodendron painted lady. And this is my newest houseplant purchase. I got it back when I got the Maranta Silver Band. Sorry if Giselle's tail was in the shot just then. Um, but yeah, Philodendron Painted Lady. I think this is actually my current favorite plant and it's just growing like a weed. So I wanted to show it off a little bit. It's got these beautiful variegated speckled Kind of looks like paint flex. The name reminds me of like the nail polish emoji where it's like painted lady reminds me of like painted nails. Um, yeah, she's beautiful. She's got pink stems and she's got yellow, green, and then slightly darker green variegation. And one, two, three three there's three or four separate plants maybe three i think one is like a bigger one in this pot but yeah that's really exciting and i'm excited for it to grow big and beautiful and then eventually i'll probably stake it somehow on a moss pole most likely and yeah right now it lives in my greenhouse cabinet and it's really happy in there my next planty update is a little shameless plug. I recently launched an ebook called The Ultimate Guide to Identifying Common Houseplant Problems. It is basically a guide that has a bunch of common houseplant issues and questions to ask yourself as to why this could be occurring. It's a lot more than just, my plant has a yellow leaf you probably overwatered it. So I've listed out a problem and then I've listed out questions to ask yourself about your care routine and the surrounding environment. And then I've listed out for each of those things, what is the likely cause? So it is meant to be a guide to help you identify what exactly the problem is, why it's happening, so then you can correct it. And some of the problems have a lot of like potential questions or causes, and some might just have like one or two. An example is brown leaf tips or edges. And I'm asking you, is the soil very dry often? Is the air very dry? Is the plant nearby a vent that is blowing air? Is the plant right next to a window? Is, if it is next to a window, is it cold outside? Have you recently fertilized or do you fertilize the plant very frequently, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So a whole bunch of questions about your care routine, environmental factors, and then, okay, if this, then that. This is a likely cause in that case. So instead of spending time Googling, my plant looks like this, but I'm doing this, and it shouldn't really be this because this isn't happening, but this is, and then trying to find answers on some Reddit thread where people might know what they're talking about, but they also might not know what they're talking about. I have compiled everything into an ebook for you guys, and I'm really excited about it, and it's 40% off right now. Check out the link in the description to get 40% off. 
that means right now it is only $8.99. I know I'm biased, but I did get some feedback on it before launching it, and I have been told that there is a lot of good information in it and that it's a valuable resource. So check that out. Giselle also thinks that you should that you should check it out. Right? My next update is not, not a very big update, but my baby alocasias that are just like permanent babies because I have them in this little thing and I don't plan to move them anytime soon, has finally sprouted another stem. Uh, so actually, wait, how many are in here? One, two, there are three corms in here that I propagated a long time ago. And okay, and then these two leaves belong to one corm. This one only has one leaf. And then this one has just sprouted another stem. Eh, I don't wanna tip it too much. Another stem right there and yeah you can see the roots it is in leka and water no particular reason why it's in leka other than i just wanted to see what would happen if i put corms in leka or babies because they were already a little bit sprouted when i put them in here but yeah baby alocasia black velvets growing a little bit, a little bit at a time, very small amount. And they're all cruelly and interesting. They were growing towards the light in my greenhouse cabinet, but why they decided to kind of do little loop-de-loops, I'm not totally sure, but it's cool. I'm not mad about it. Last is my fishbone cactus. And this is just purely because I haven't like taken it down off the shelf and just looked at it and inspected or admired it in a long time. So I thought it was time we give it a little spotlight. Sometimes these plant update videos are actual updates and sometimes it's just an excuse for me to do a little show and tell. So Mr. Fishbone Cactus has all this amazing new growth. It is actually bigger than I thought. It's a good thing to look at your plants every once in a while. <laughs> Definitely bigger than I thought. That's exciting. All of these like stick like things are baby stems that will eventually grow into the zigzaggy stems. Let me see, find an example of one. Like here you can kind of see at the bottom how it used to be stick and now it's just starting to form into a fishbone cactus stem. Super cool plant. I love this plant so much. And I think I'm going to do a little rearranging soon because I want to be able to look at you more. It's been in my closet for the past six months, the grow light setup I have in my closet. But um, that's not good enough anymore. I want to be able to see, see, bask in the glory. Ooh, it's so cool, I love it. Ugh, I was almost done filming and then my alarm went off and it stopped the video. Why does that happen? Why, why should an alarm stop the video? Like, it seems like a basic thing on the iPhone that shouldn't happen. Anyway, I was almost done, so. You are beautiful. I will pay more attention to you. Here is your moment to shine. Ah. Okay, so those are my May houseplant updates. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Check out my ebook. It's $8.99 for you guys, 40% off at the link in the description. Miss Giselle is now trying to play with the fun springy cactus stems. And <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye.